I went for a jog today for the first time here in Florence and uh, just because the weather is really perfect like no it's not very sunny but it's quite warm uh, it's about 12 degrees and it's not rainy at least so I decided to try but you can say here it's not very convenient to jog because there are a lot of people here in the city center but the view is really spectacular look at this view <laughs> yeah it's very 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 pleasant to have a walk or to have a jog uh, and enjoy such kind of view. Now I'm going to show you my apartment. So <laughs> this is our sitting room. Yeah, and uh, here there are so many photos of um, of the landlord of this uh, apartment. Uh, he's really famous photographer, and uh, his works are really amazing. Yeah, and he has a very nice library with books about photography. Can you see and everything is about photography. These very nice cameras, vintage, and uh, yeah. So here is a kitchen. Yeah, quite light, uh, quite um, really very cozy apartment and here is a typical Florentine, typ typical Tuscany view with these roofs and there is um, uh, some, some famous castle, I I'm, unfortunately I don't remember the name, yeah. <laughs> So it's a kind of modern uh, loft style. Oh, this look at this beautiful roof. I really like this style. And um, here is my room. Yeah, quite small, but very cozy. Yeah, with the view uh, on um, hmm, on the on the piazza, on a kind of square, and there is a football uh, pitch. Yeah, and what is interesting, uh, there are also these nice photos and what is interesting, my bed, it's upstairs, so it's a kind of like this and here is a bed. There is some space uh, also for, for some stuff, <laughs> just for keeping stuff. I'm already at school now. There will be the guest lecture and then after classes. Brand from California named Brock won, and they got Tom Ford as their mentor. Tom Ford worked with them for a year. Um, uh, many years back, uh, Brand um, also had a California called the Elder Statesman um, won, and their mentors were Gloria and Richard Stark of Chrome Hearts, which is a very big, important American. History of the course that is quite uh, controversial. As for the course itself, how is it going? Uh, we have uh, a number of uh, subjects and uh, quite small amount of people. So our group uh, is about uh, nine people, uh, nine students, and um, all of us are taking uh, different courses, but um, they are from one direction, like um, fashion business. Yeah, so for example, some guys are taking fashion um, and fashion marketing and art curation. Uh, some are taking fashion marketing, mer merchandising and buying. So different, different kinds of. But uh, the core, uh, the core number of subjects is uh, equal. And so we are together. But uh, everyone has uh, uh, one specific subject uh, where uh, you are just taking your particular course and these subjects they differ yeah uh, so every day we have about um, five uh, sometimes even four hours two six seven uh, this week uh, will be quite full so I will have almost every day about uh, uh, six seven hours took some classes I already met the teachers the professors and they are really uh, wonderful and especially what I can say um, about educational system it uh, it's another um, 
I can compare it just with the Russian educational system and with my university, uh, which I was graduated from uh, a few years ago. It's a kind of continuous discussion. We permanently ask questions, we share our opinions, uh, so we can be, we not agree, yeah, we cannot agree. And um, the teachers, the professors, they explain us. And what is the most important that uh, after some kind of topic, uh, we are starting practice. And uh, it's really amazing. For example, yesterday we um, discussed positioning, positioning of fashion brands. And uh, right after we just ourselves, we uh, were trying to understand uh, the archetype of Gucci, how it changed uh, during the last time. And uh, it, it's really, it's really very, very helpful, very useful. And that's what I like very, very much here. So also, uh, apart from this time uh, we spend in classes, we have uh, uh, quite a lot of free time, I could say, and uh, we can uh, spend it in the library because Polymode has the uh, biggest fashion library in Europe. And um, I will show you this library later. Uh, and um, yes, what can I say? I'm really excited, and um, apart from studying, I'm trying to explore Florence. Uh, <laughs> I finished all the classes and now I'm heading to do some small shopping because today is almost the Black Friday and I want to explore what is it here in the local shops because here is the biggest variety of shops. Can you see the street? Yeah. It's really full of shops. Full. <laughs> so, and then I will go home and it is and um, yeah, the class was amazing as always. <laughs> Look at this moon. <laughs> We're heading to Ferragamo Museum. Look at this view. <laughs> I hope it will be very interesting and that we will have class during uh, this time class in the museum. So I will show you what's going on there. The current collection is dedicated to Italian people who succeeded in Hollywood. Sorry, this one with the sunglasses, the one with the Maori, the crown, and the skull. And now I have to go to the library because I already received an uh, assignment for my project but I haven't started yet. So I um, have to do some research and uh, understand at least the topic because I didn't choose it yet. Yeah, <laughs> the library is uh, really very big and uh, very helpful in terms of uh, different sources of information. Now classes are in progress, so there is nobody almost on the stairs. <laughs> and I'm looking for academic office, because I don't know where it I spent about three hours in the library and it was very, very, very fruitful. So I'm ex inspired and excited even uh, more than before. And I'm heading home and uh, now I will finally relax for today and I think it's a good, good finish uh, for today's video. Yeah, and I wish all of you to your dreams to come true. <laughs>